what's up libra it's your girl dominique with empathic guidance and i'm back with another video for you guys today and today i'm back with your first half of let's see if i can get that a little brighter it don't have to be that bright let's see first half of february okay the first through the 15th or the first through the 14th so Let's see, let's tap in for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node for the first half of February 2023, Karmic Trench. Ooh. Well, somebody gonna get some type of downgrade when it comes down to their work field, okay? So this is like, this is like losing a prominent position and going into a position where it's like, ultimately, it would have been beneath you. Okay, so this could be you or somebody in your life, Libra, take it as it resonates. But somebody's somebody's reality is definitely reflecting the energy that they put out, okay? Because I am getting reflection. So it's like this could be something that somebody wanted for you, for sure, okay? With this karmic trench energy, somebody may have wanted you to have to work hard for your money. They was definitely causing conflict in your life, okay? With the winged messenger here, you and this person, y'all got completely different views, this person maybe want to sit down and have a heart to heart with you now because it's like they see the damage that they done through their own lenses now because it's in it. Basically, this person is getting a taste of their own medicine. All right. Because I feel like things have been up in the air. Yes, this person is a masculine energy that's losing a position. This person could have had a position where they traveled and everything else and now they losing that position here. Okay. Yeah. And this can be uh, like a friend of yours or something or a brother or something to that extent. But this could definitely be somebody that was trying to keep a divine couple apart. Like a king and queen of swords type of energy. Like a very intellectual, very intellectual, powerful couple was being like the, the energy was stagnant because possibly because of this person. All right. Yeah, I'm definitely feeling like time has passed. Timelines have been skipped or missed or... Somebody is behind timelines because of damage that this person caused, and now they're in a karmic trench. All right, yeah, so something that's been up in the air, hopefully it's going to be grounded now because this person is being knocked out of a position of authority. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, yeah, yeah, somebody definitely losing a position when they come down to work here. They could be losing family also or finding out that a child is not theirs or like losing a project this could be a project that they gave birth to so this could have been a competitor of yours okay you could be this feminine or this masculine energy please take the energies as it resonates because some of y'all libras can be the saboteurs as well all right but you could have been a victim of somebody trying to keep a divine connection of yours apart with this king and queen of scrolls i'm gonna just put them over here because they like supposed to be together but, you know, somebody at a distance definitely was working hard. They know people in high places or they knew people in high places. I feel like this masculine energy, they lost a position with the queen of, key, the queen of scrolls. I'm sorry. They lost a position with this queen. And because they lost a position, they tried to get them to lose a position with somebody that was a better match with, for them. Okay. Whether y'all divine or not, you know, it's up to y'all. I know everybody not twin flames, but this was like a higher level soulmate connection that was meant to come together. You guys are like a reflection of each other. And this person was causing conflict when it came down to like to the meeting of two minds. Okay. Yeah. And now this person is being kicked out of that position. Whatever position they was in where they had, they knew people in, people in high places that was, you know, doing certain things. I mean, some of this shit could even be magic, but of course I'm not seeing that. I'm seeing that the feminine energy was a muse to this masculine, like inspired this masculine. Yes, this masculine was a part of a community or an organization. So yeah, definitely could be Coke Coven, but it also could just be organization. You know what I'm saying? A Mason or something to that extent. Now something is suddenly changing and you getting a windfall. So some sudden change is happening on both sides of the spectrum. Somebody here is having like a complete breakdown, but you know, and I'm talking about like everything in their life is breaking down. Like, they are being separated from this organization or they being kicked out or blackballed. 
they're losing a family they're potentially finding out that either they're not the father or their children are being taken away from them because of actions that they've inflicted it's like they kind of being disowned so maybe that's something that this person wanted for you especially if you the feminine energy because you was a mule muse to this person they may have wanted to see you isolated or just like have your energy reserved only for them Okay, so yeah, this person could have been doing a lot to hold on to you to keep you from uh finding a way to like your your real and genuine love. And this real and genuine love is attached to more blessings. You get what I'm saying? It's like two, like I said, the meeting of two great minds. So the meeting of two great minds mean that both of y'all are the missing puzzle piece to each other's strength, you know. So you have things to offer that this person doesn't and vice versa and it's a sense of completion when y'all come together so yeah it's kind of like this person was kind of keeping you from your highest potential by even keeping you away from this lover is what i'm seeing here so i mean you was achieving great things on your own so i'm not saying i'm not trying to give nobody no credit for y'all hard work but what i'm saying is Somebody that truly supports you, having somebody positive in your life that has, like, sees life through a similar lens as you, that is genuine with the help that they bring in, of course, is going to elevate what you already have to offer. And essentially, that's what love is supposed to do. So, necessarily, this person is not a completion of you because you are whole and sovereign within yourself, Libra. But whoever this is, what they were coming to add was going to make whatever you uh cultivated whatever powerful thing you cultivated on your own and fuel that power and make that something that's like a duality you get what i'm saying so yeah it's like yeah this other person is just like a very childish energy so maybe it's like this person may have been playing for the big leagues when they should have been in you know something else yeah ace of wands so the first half of the month now that somebody is being set to the side somebody is kind of getting out of your way um i'm seeing yeah now that something is when somebody is getting out of your way i feel like growth is going to happen like a new inspiring beginning is gonna happen and i do feel like that i feel like you and this king this king and queen of scrolls energy is meant to be like high influence uh like very affluent people like an affluent couple uh people that's like like a, a true and genuine representation of goals okay because let's face it in 2023 it's a lot of people out here that's glorifying very toxic connections that's what we see in the spotlight the most fussing fighting drinking drugging you know what i'm saying and this is something where it's like two people learn together elevate each other you know what i'm saying support each other uh they're each other's strengths in times of weakness you know what i'm saying so it's like that that's the true representation of love that god wants to be exemplified you know this other person could have been all about the money like maybe they felt maybe they felt the sense of arrogance entitlement and, and smugness like they they just smug because this person is a king of pinnacles or no, they the king of cups in reverse. So yeah, this masculine energy, it's like this person, they couldn't even pour into you is what I'm getting here. It's like this person showed no emotion, but they were actually very overly emotional. Like their emotions are very explosive when it comes to you. So you may not realize how this person feels, Libra. I feel like this person kind of hides their feelings. But you got this king of pentacles that's coming in for you. And this person is bringing equal give and take. This is like, this is like a twin flame connection. This is like a twin flame connection, okay? But it was major delays. I feel like uh, for some of you, y'all was supposed to come together last, last July uh or sometime in july even if it was years ago because i am getting that somebody is a timeline behind so it's like this king of cups keeps putting one or both of you timelines behind when it comes to coming together and cultivating something as one yeah and this person keep like doing things impulsively 
and from a emotionally childish place. So this person is given a very like mine, you know, like a child. So it's something within this person on a childlike level where it's like whatever they have in you, it makes their inner child feel safe and they feel called to protect. They, they see what they doing as protection, Libra. They see this as protection, like they protecting something that they feel like God gave to them when you could have just been passing through. Like you could have been somebody that was literally supposed to teach this person a lesson or implement some type of healing into this person's life and keep it moving. And they misconstrued that completely. Like you could have literally just been a teacher in their life. And with this person, y'all here to exchange that. Like, you know, this person is meant to teach you and you them and y'all soulmates. Yeah, y'all meant to have something or build something together is what I'm seeing. And this person thought that that was reserved for them just because of how they felt safe in your energy. They never felt that feeling before. So that they took that like, oh, you must be specifically made for me. Yeah, this was the reason why this wasn't successful a long time ago. But I'm going to tell you now, because of how delayed this is, Libra, expect this to move at bullet speed. Remember I was saying a sudden change is coming? I, well, I mean a sudden change to your relationship, uh, to your relationship status, you know, to your life, to your environment. It's going to be somebody in your space now. And you guys are meant to obtain this windfall, okay? So things are going to change really quickly because it's almost like they've been waiting at some gates that this person personally built. This this person that don't know how to express their emotions, but they really overly emotional. So this can be somebody that act nonchalant and very distant and cold, but on the inside, they it's like obsession is brewing. You know what I'm saying? Or festering. It's like you would never know because this per person got a perfect ass poker face. So you might have walked away from this and never suspected this person of any of the delays that have happened in your life because they might have been very removed from their emotions. They may have never told you how they felt about you. They may have never you know, expressed that they felt anything for you. And so when you moved forward and started experiencing delays, you could have been really confused as to where they was coming from because this person right here didn't even show you that they cared. But on the inside, they were overly possessive, overly emotional, overly attached to you. And they chose to hide that. They chose to do it. Like, I don't know. Like, I'm not trying to always like, say everybody is Joe Goldberg, but like in the mind of somebody that can have an obsessive personality, in the mind of a stalker, a lot of times it's more interesting upon the hunt. It's like, okay, yeah, I'm like so in love. I get to, you know, fetishize this person. I get to imagine them in a way that I want them to be viewed how I imagine them, I can daydream about them, and everything that I'm thinking and dreaming is exactly the way I would want this person to be, but this person may have a fear that getting too close would shatter that dream, illusion, or fantasy. You get what I'm saying? And so that that's why this person could have kept you at bay, but also like wanted to keep you contained. So this person could have did a containment spell. I'll bet you if I got the dark mirror tarot that the bride in a cage would come out because that is what this is. This person wanted you to be a bride on layaway. It's like, you know, I don't know. I don't know what was holding this person back. I feel like that's almost something we should ask because that's the part that's confusing. Yeah, I do kind of feel like this person have abandonment issues to the point where they be the one that want to jump ship first. Yes, but... Be, to avoid the pain, you know what I'm saying? It's like, I'm going to get you before you get me type vibe. But I also feel like that whole obsessive personality thing, it serves some type of uh, explanation to this as well. Because it's like, this person may know that the minute that they get close to you, too close to you, that that fantasy would be shattered in like... The reality of who people are, like they flaws, they downfalls, they toxic traits, you know, like people going to be flawed. And this person might fetishize people from a distance. You get what I'm saying? 
we may ask what's holding this person back. Why is the Ace of Wands here? It's like you and this King of Scrolls is meant to have some type of like creative endeavor together. Yeah, and y'all being set free from the darkness because it could have been a it could have been illusions like there could have been illusions created between the two people in order to keep them apart so people could have projected things on to you about this king of scrolls made them seem like they was something that they wasn't or you know whatever but it's like things are becoming clearer now because y'all listening to a higher perspective so both of you could be getting signs from the universal ancestors the angels your dreams yes yeah, sudden wealth in reverse this king of cups also felt like you was they know that you attached to wealth but you meant to have it with this king of pentacles not the king of cups these two been fighting in the 5d like honestly and i've been picking that up for at least a year so it's no telling by this saying that y'all like a timeline or two behind this definitely could have been something that was meant to come together like a year ago. Or like I said, for a lot of you, I'm picking up cancer season 2022. Let's see. Why is the king of pentacles here? The king of pentacles I feel is your person. Yeah. Y'all have unexpected income. And change. Okay. So th this person could have been uh, holding back both of y'all finances because for some of you, travel can be required, Libra. Okay, for some of you, travel may be required. You could be long distance from this person. And with this uh, King of Cups in reverse, this overly emotional, power hungry person could have been doing, they could have been like uh, hindering y'all finances so that y'all wouldn't be in a space where y'all in alignment to come into union. Because you know, for most divine individuals, it's like you have to reach a level of mastery before that's even possible. You can't be broke and struggling. Like divine uh, divine unions are not meant to be struggle of. It's not meant to be, you know, a hot dog and Kool-Aid type of relationship. And I'm not saying that to say like those types of things are the most important. But it's like you two were meant to like overcome those types of difficulties on y'all own and come together and have wealth and royal, you know, wealth and royal bl uh, blood rights or birth rights. Sorry, I had to take a drink of water. Oh, it's talking, make you thirsty. But yeah, now somebody is being able to travel to you. Okay, so they getting some type of unexpected income. Like I said, things about to change for both people. Like one person is losing a prestigious uh, role or, you know, position. And you and this person, y'all being set free. It's like a blockbuster or something like that. Yeah, I'm telling you. <laughs> like the delays is over with the tower here. Shit is being blow blown to bits. Okay, literally blown to bits. That's what I heard, bits. So, I don't know who British, but yeah, I literally heard blown to bits. So, yeah, this was a humbling experience, Libra, is what I'm getting. I feel like you guys are going to appreciate each other more because y'all had to wait to come together. And like I said, it's going to come together faster now. Six of Pentacles. Like, so this person going to be coming, basically coming straight in, proposing to you. Let's see, Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, I'm telling y'all. Y'all, you may have to travel. You may have to travel. Mm-hmm. Somebody is sick that they couldn't keep you off your path. <laughs> they wanted to, like, completely have you going the wrong way with them. Now they in despair. This person is having to take odd, like, odd jobs is what I'm getting. So they went from a prestigious position. And this is, like, if they have some type of... You know, if they have some type of talent, like farming or landscaping or painting, you know, not painting pictures, but, you know, painting houses or some type of, like, construction. It's like they have to kind of, like, yo, I ain't trying to roast and fry this person because, I mean, that would be like kicking this person while they down or pouring salt in their wounds, but... I'm going to be completely honest with you. Like, this person may be having to go door to door, make themselves cheap, like, flyers saying, oh, you know, I'll cut your grass or, 
you know, if you looking for this type of landscape, I do this or whatever. And there's nothing wrong with like working your way to the top. But it's like this person was in a position of power. And now they in a position where they are starving artists. Whatever it is that they find natural talent in, it's like they doing it. But they doing it in a way where they don't have no business backing them. So now they got to get it out the mud like they wanted you to do. They was making it hard for you and your person. Things was stagnant. Unexpected expenses is, was coming up. Now unexpected payments is going to be issued. Y'all going to be getting deposits in y'all bank account. And y'all can't even like recall or recollect where it's even coming from. Because this person was stealing from y'all through energy manipulation. Yeah. Sever them ties this weekend, y'all. If y'all know exactly who I'm talking about... Y'all do a cord cutting. Do a cord cutting. Y'all told you you and this person gonna get married quick as hell. Y'all gonna get married quick as hell. And for some of you, this person may be coming to visit you, but you may actually be relocating to where they are. Okay. Knight of Cups. Proposal on the horizon. Most definitely. Y'all, I'm telling you something that's ordained by the Holy Spirit. Something that's going to elevate you in life, like I said. Six of wands in reverse. Y'all, humble new beginnings. Yeah, somebody being humble. The sneaky, snaky, abusive motherfucker. Okay, now this person may be sick. I mean, and that could be literal or that could be down. Like, like I'm sick as fuck, you know? Let's see, why is this bad health here? But somebody can't stop thinking about you and that's going to be their karma. Yeah, it's like when they get the news, yeah, they wasn't protected. For some of you, they wasn't having protected sex. They could be getting some news or a diagnosis that they, like, really upset about. It's weighing them down. They feel like they self-sabotaged. Yeah, um, they thought that they was going to be able to achieve something that they already achieved in another lifetime. So maybe they successfully got a future or a legacy with you in the last lifetime and you chose like the wrong person over your actual person but this is the lifetime for you and this person to come together so don't know exactly why this person just couldn't pursue you but nine times out of ten when it's like that it's because this person was already bonded to a karmic situation we know the we know the vibes like like let's let's not know that that don't be the storyline every time it, it be some type of karmic that they can't let go of so they want to bind a divine feminine and you know basically have you missing out on love since they can't be the one to give it to you you know what i'm saying since they can't step up so they punish you for it it's like i can't step up so you can't have shit i'm gonna be in a relationship that i'm unhappy in but you gotta be single for the rest of your life because I don't have the courage to face my fears. So let's see. Let's get a message for Libra. Any lasting messages, Holy Spirit? Braids, locks, energy vampire. Yeah, so the energy vampire that's being left behind. The King of Cups in reverse could have braids or locks. Both people can, honestly. So take it as it resonates. You guys got that Ganesh energy. Uh, revered is good luck. Remover of obstacles. Destroyer of evil. Strength, powerful wisdom, memory, and vitality. You go, guys. That sounded corny. <laughs> Let's see. Risking it all for you. They risked their life for you. That's what they damn sure did. Because now this person is going to be going through a a lot of problems because they didn't realize that y'all have black diamond energy as well so y'all it's just protection all over the board ganesh black diamond protection from evil like y'all are revered in a in a precious way grand theft auto so what i'm getting from the grand theft auto energy and did not say cult coven or secret society i'll be trying not to mention magic in every single shit but let's just face it it's a lot more people just doing that shit just willy-nilly. <laughs> like, yeah, back in the day, they probably wouldn't like that. Or we weren't talking about it as much. But ever since TikTok, yeah, people just be openly doing that shit with so much pride. Y'all, okay, Earth Angel, they've been doing this to you. That's why you're so protected and highly revered because you're an Earth Angel. Okay, for some of y'all, they could have been doing this for three years. Because with this Grand Theft Auto thing, what I'm getting from this... 
You know how they say if you have a dream about somebody driving you around, that that means that they're controlling your life or trying to. This person wanted to be the driver of your life. They wanted to push you out the driver's seat and, and basically drive your life. You know what I'm saying? This person was trying to, like, basically they stole... They stole your authority for a short period of time. However, I don't know, for some of you, up to three years, this person was driving your life. They was controlling your life. You may not have realized it. It could have been in the most subtle ways. It could have been through unexplained phenomenons. But this person was controlling your life. And you regained control or you reached a level of ascension where this person can't touch you no more. I got, I seen immature clown. Keep it on the low. Yeah, so this person ain't the type of person. This is the person that you would least expect, just like I said. They keep their feelings on the low. They have a poker face. You got me losing my patience, but it's in reverse. You see what I mean? Like, this may be the type of person that seems very patient, very, like, not temperamental. But deep down inside, like, this is the type of person that would, like, close the door with a calm face and start punching the air. Like, <clears throat> like. Like, this person got a volcano within that they hide, okay? So, it's a good thing because I'm kind of getting that this person, the what they internalize is not what they show the world. Like, this person, they, they learn how to mask who they are really good. They do. This person definitely have a temper issue that they hide. They keep it on the low. You've been in separation from this person for three years and some... Some of you, they kept you away from your person for three years. So it could have been cancer season three years ago that you and this person was supposed to meet. Or cancer season three years ago when you and this person, that's an energy vampire met. They are a karmic soulmate. And like I said, they could have, like, you could have been stuck with this person in the past lifetime because you didn't make the right choice. They could have convinced you that they was the one. And now they was trying to do it again. Like, I don't know what this person was going to do because it wasn't nothing that was keeping this connection fed. That's why what I mean by you probably won't even know who this is. Or you probably going to have to think really, really hard. Like, oh, them? You know what I'm saying? Because this person got a fucking poker face. And when they met you, they charmed you. So if they got anything out of you, some sex, some money, some you know, like, some care, whatever, it's because they charmed you. This probably would have been somebody you would have looked Oh, pass. You would have looked right past their ass. Let's see. Y'all, they, the, they was on a suicide mission. Okay, so ain't no telling. They could have been doing more than affecting your money if this is considered a suicide mission. Because now this person in bad health because they didn't have spiritual protection. And you about to be chilling. Y'all not going to have to worry about this jealous person. They could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Uh, they wasn't giving you the princess treatment or they wasn't treating you with respect. New moon. So y'all set intentions during this new moon. Maybe y'all, like, y'all did a role opener or y'all did something uncrossing or banishment or something. And maybe it finally clicked. Like, oh shit, like, somebody really was blocking me. I thought I was just going through life struggles. But y'all bring such a pleasant mood and y'all have everything so perfectly planned out. And y'all flexible and understanding. RSTV can be this person's initials, first, middle, or last. This person could be very, uh, like a mad scientist. They could be like a mad scientist, like, uh, very scientific, okay? And that could be, like, why they good at spell work, okay? Yeah, this person, what they learning is to not fit in or to not be a part of groups and shit because people could have influenced them to do things that set them up for failure, this person sing you a lot of music, so you might hear a lot of music that reminds you of y'all connection. That may be how you figure out who this is if you if you don't know. For some of you, y'all may know that this person present themselves as nonchalant, but they hide how they really are. Okay, so you for some of you, I'm not gonna say all of y'all don't know who this person is, because some of y'all, this person couldn't get past your intuition. You knew, you knew, one of three weeks. Elemental PQ. Okay, so. It makes sense that it's one of three weeks because we do on the first half. Okay. Yeah, this person was exhausting your nuclear fuel. So some of y'all could be star seeds and this person was draining your light. Pay attention to when people say phrases like that. Like, oh, I love your energy. Because that means they coming in your shit to drown, uh, drain it. So this person could have drained your energy because I'm getting like nuclear fuel exhaustion in reverse. 
So it's like, if you was feeling exhausted, fatigue, like sleeping on your own potential and stuff like that, that could have been also what they was doing. It's like, the more they distracted you and your person, the longer they can keep y'all apart. So if you was like not really doing inner work because you was so tired, you know, it's like every time you try to do something, you was half doing shit or skipping steps or making mistakes or going to bed or, you know, falling asleep every time you say you're going to set your intentions or do that protection ritual or run you a spiritual bath, you know what I'm saying, or do a red brick sweep or any type of cleansing that you could have tried to do. It's like this person was uh, lowering your defenses so you can be so like uh fatigue and lethargic that you wasn't really probably stand up on your spiritual hygiene for a minute red hair always coming out cheat they way to the top yes y'all need to watch when the crows fly because i'm telling you that remind me of divine versus karmic and how they be like so mad they be seething underneath the surface when we get some accolades and they just get straight online and start with the fake accounts like oh such and such oh you know I heard they got this and that, but they ain't shit. I know, I know what the real is. I know the real them. You know, I know this and I know that. They know the you from 1982. They don't know you for real, for real. Let me lead. It's in reverse. So you wouldn't let this person lead. They would have lead you to a road of destruction. If you would have let them lead, they would have led you how they led you in a past life, okay? Okay, for some of you, they've been doing this for six to nine months, not three years. Okay, and like I said, for others of you, y'all y'all was supposed to uh, get with that new soulmate in July. And July was probably about six to nine months ago. For real, for real, right? Shit. How many more months we got until it's July? We in the second month. So we got five more months. So yeah, six to nine months around that time, this person wanted you to let them heal or let them lead you, but you saw this person as somebody that was for the streets. You might not have wanted a masculine that was from the streets. Like, okay. And I feel like that's why, like this person is really shy. So this person might come off as confident, but they not. What they do is charm people and allow people to become head over heels with them so that they ain't got to pursue. That's what they do, y'all. That's what they do. I'm going to put that shit up on TikTok because that's a new revelation. So for some of y'all, these people don't even be as confident as they perceive, like if they as as they project onto everybody else. That be the charm spell. It be like these people really be shy, but they make people obsessed with them so that they ain't gotta approach people. Cause they too shy. That's the real thing. Damn, that's crazy. Alright, y'all. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Join the Soul Tribe. Enjoy y'all Valentine's Day. And I'll check you guys out on the next one. Well, I know it ain't Valentine's Day yet. But I'm just saying, the next series of readings come out at the Valentine's Day. Peace.